I'm Man149, and I'm here with my good friend uh, Ryan Finney, which is the guy from the RuneScape Guides team. Uh, Ryan, say what's up. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, anyways, I think in this video we're going to be discussing the Inside Venture Partners um, and how to properly increase revenue instead of, you know, making cosmetic items like they've been doing with like the um, Solomon's General Store and the Squeal of Fortune. Uh, Ryan, what are your thoughts on uh, on how they can increase revenue? Oh, do you know what? Right, I actually like the um the Solomon store just because it's completely cosmetic. That's the one thing I like about it. But they probably could find a better way to increase revenue, really. Um, probably by just um creating new content and uh, stuff like that. Really, you just, you just haven't got to keep. You're basically begging for money, RuneScape. Like giving out, you know, squeal of fortune stuff. Like at the moment, it's like free a day. So that's like kind of begging for money. And the Solomon's General Store is like you have, to, you can't earn the rune coins. You have to buy them. So it's kind of like really stupid in a way. But uh, yeah, they should definitely make more content um, in game, so people will buy uh, more membership and stuff. Yeah. Also, the fact that I think they should um, be repairing the, the graphical glitches that have been like insanely rampant in uh, in the game in terms of the minimap glitches, uh, the clan cloak glitches that doesn't really show anything, you know, like, um, oh fuck, what is it? Like if you use uh, home teleport, uh, you arrive at like whatever lodestone you, uh, you chose and your clan cloak doesn't show, it only shows the default blue. Yeah, that 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 stupid little glitch, and also the minimap glitch where uh, things don't seem to fit where they should be. Um, they they should be repairing that at the very least. Uh, also, another idea for for how to maximize revenue is um, equinestry. You know, like people have been uh, wondering for for years actually um, if there are going to be like horses or terror bird mounts and stuff in the game, and I think this. This now would be a great opportunity to have that introduced into the game, you know, like um, have some free mounts for people that don't have rune coins or and like some special mounts like terror birds or dragons, you know, for paying members. And yeah, yeah, I that definitely. Because I remember um, back in the day when I had, I had a couple of friends um, in real life who would play private servers with me, and um, I actually created a private server. Where um, you can actually have wings and you could fly around. You just type in like four slash god and you could just fly around on your, with your wings and stuff. And now that they've brought that into the game, okay, maybe it's not like permanent. It's only like for an hour or something. But um, still, using that them auras is a very big way of showing that you listen to the community. Because I know that some people are asking for like wings and all that. But definitely, if they have some mounts in the game, that'd be um, incredible. Yeah, I mean, I know it sounds. Um mainstream and cliche, but I think mounts would be a great uh, addition to RuneScape instead of like changing the entire combat system, which everybody's obviously extremely used to. Uh, it would also be a really good um, uh, waste waste of money. Um, yeah, and uh, but like as I was saying, the mounts would be like um, Two or three different variations of horse for like people that don't want to pay for uh, regular for special mounts, and for like ten bucks you can get like a, um, a terror bird mount, or for, like fifteen bucks you can get like a dragon mount. Uh, that way, it would yeah. be like just cosmetic, but it would be a way to get places faster without using teleport runes, you know? And, yeah, uh, definitely. It wouldn't really do anything. I mean, you wouldn't be able to ride them in, in the wilderness, obviously, because well, it would cost money to get it back. It'd yeah. Take a while, but but still, I mean, faster travel, it'd, it'd be so much better, you know. Yeah, so, definitely, man. Definitely. Um. So, anyways, I don't know if you've played the uh, RuneScape Combat Beta, but uh, what are your thoughts on it? Sure. Actually, um, I played it uh, once. And um, I kind of got it wrong. Um, I forgot to bring an item. I was trying out Slayer, and um, I forgot to bring an item. And I thought that Protect from Praise didn't work no more. So I was killing um, a Baron Spectre in the Slayer Tower. I didn't realize you either need like a Slayer Hammer or a Nose Peg. And I just rushed in there with like um, attack from Magic and attack from Melee. On and I just got owned. I was like, "Fuck, what's happening here?" And then I realized then. So actually, after after I did that Slayer task, I quit the Evolution of Combat and went back to the live game. And then I realized you needed a nose peg, 
So it's pretty gutted. And um, I haven't been on this since, but I might try some this weekend and um, play some mini games like Castle Wars or something, see how that goes. Well, I mean, I've played uh, Castle Wars on the RuneScape Combat beta, and I didn't really quite get it the first time. I mean, I had a little bit of trouble adjusting to the the status bar, you know, like where you click your, your skills and stuff. Yeah, and it, yeah. It took me a, a long time to figure it out. I mean, I couldn't figure out how to uh, dual wield weapons, which I found out my second playthrough. Um, but there are some things that really need to be worked on, and I think think that beta is not ready to be released yet. I mean, uh, yeah. I, in my last video, I, mean, I, I did a review of um, the Barrows Brothers in the beta, and uh, basically the only thing that was actually working fine were the NPCs. I mean, the, the server was super laggy. Um, it just overall it was so terrible. I mean, prayer drained so fast. Yeah. You couldn't tell who was hitting what or what was hitting who. Um, like you know, in the in the live game, you actually see your hit spots and stuff. Yeah. But in the in the beta, it didn't show the hit spots. It just showed the number like in white. And it made mm -hmm. it so uncomfortable because it's it's not what you're used to, and it's just so difficult to grasp onto. But in terms of the skill bar, I think I think it's pretty good. I mean, um, you have ten slots. And you can put like anything on those slots, you know what I mean? Uh, you can put like uh, mage spells, uh, skills for rangers, uh, like uh, dash forward or teleport backwards and stuff. Um, there are also like a few ultimate abilities that you can use. And I also found out what um, that the, the transformation of into like this fire guy in one of the behind the scenes videos Jagex released about the EOC was, and it's actually a mage uh, ultimate ability. Um, oh, the metamorphosis thing? Yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, basically what it is, is uh, it's a mage ability, and um, it goes off the, the last element of the spell you, it goes off the element of the last spell you cast. Yeah. So um, let's say you cast like wind strike or wind blast or whatever the hell it is. Um, you would you would essentially turn into a being like made of pure wind, and um, oh sweet, if you cast like a fire spell. You would turn into a being of fire, and what that does after you transform into like a being of fire or a being of water or something like that, it gives you unlimited usage of the spell that you were any spell of that element that you were using, and you don't use any runes for it. But it, it's only for like a minute, so. I don't know. I'm having mixed thoughts about it, but yeah, it's, it seems pretty cool. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, actually. But um, there are some of the ranged uh, ultimate abilities that are actually really overpowered, and I need to really uh, fix that. Um, yeah, I tried that rapid uh, rapid fire one. I think it is with the dual crossbows, and I was just so overpowered. Yeah, I mean it's it's really bad. I mean if you have like ruby uh, ruby bullets that are enchanted, I mean that would just wreck like any anything. Yeah, maybe I think what they should do is um, carry on with it, but um, they shouldn't release it in September. I think they should keep it as a beta for quite a while until the players um, have what they want and Dragex has what they want and stuff. Yeah, like kind of finding like a, a sort of unique middle ground for uh, yeah for both the player and the company. But all in all, I think. Jagex has actually stumbled onto something that people actually enjoy. Although, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I mean, there's going to be some skeptics, but it seems like something, I'll, I'll bite mainstream, but it seems pretty okay. Yeah. But another suggestion that they could do is, um, since there are definitely going to be skeptics, they could um, keep one half of the server for, um, you know, regular RuneScape gameplay with the old combat system and uh, the other for, you know, um, combat beta or uh, yeah, definitely. evolution of combat. I mean, two different files for your character but the levels would go up at the same time. Like, uh, say, um, on the live game you have, let's say, full Torva and in, uh, in the evolution of combat you have probably like full Darox or something, the, the hmm. armor would differ, the setups would be completely different, but the levels would go up with you. Yeah. That way, like, if you're having trouble uh, training in 
in the Evolution of Combat, you can go to the live game and, and train there, which I think would be a really, really good alternative for, for players now. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. Oh, man, I'm running out of things to say. <laughs> I know. I, I, I don't know what else is happening in the world of RuneScape these days. I know that um, that they have the the summer Squeal of Fortune theme jiggy oh, going on. Oh yeah, all there is for that is just like uh, free emotes, beach balls, and, and stuff, and it's just not even a good update. Oh okay. Um, just like two weeks ago, I won a beach ball, and I'm like, yeah, this does absolutely nothing, so I destroyed it and walked away. Oh, uh, like I remember, I went on my um, I, I'm not like ah, ugh, can't even speak. Um, I'm actually oh, logged on to one of my old accounts, um, called Home Bargains, and um, I just checked in my bank and I have 15 barrel of monkeys. I have the wow. hear no evil hat, see no evil hat, and the speak no evil hat. So what I must have spent a lot monkey? on Squeal of Fortune. Dude, what the hell is a howler monkey? What do you mean? Well, I mean, you said you have like 15 howler monkeys or something. No, a barrel of monkeys. Oh, okay. I, I completely misheard and I thought you said like howler monkeys. I'm like, what the fuck? They have those in Moonscape now? <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I remember getting like 30 uh, barreled monkeys and I just went to Dungeoneering and just let them all loose. <laughs> oh my god. Like, like, people were just like, what the hell is he doing? And, after like five minutes of just letting them go, people started to catch on and started letting loose their <laughs> barrel monkeys, and it, it started a chain reaction, and there were monkeys like everywhere. <laughs> wow. But I, I also like in the in the RuneScape clan world, um, clans like uh, ah fuck, Crimson Raiders died recently, which is kind of a sad thing. Um, oh, yeah. They they had so many uh, deaths and rebirths and. Uh, it's a shame to see such a good clan die, you know, and it's uh, kind of a shocking reminder that the, the actual RuneScape clan world is, is dying, and it's in dire need of, like, new people to come in and, and just rejuvenate what we had, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, I, I, I don't like clans, to be honest. I, I'm not really that kind of combat run into, like, PvP and just kick ass. I'm, I'd rather skill and just... I don't know, I'd rather... I can't really explain. I'm I'm more of a neutral person. Yeah. Well, there, I mean, there are a couple of uh, good community clans, like the Oak Island Pirates and stuff, that would yeah. that would actually be willing. That would actually be suitable, like for you. I mean, they have scaling events. I mean, they have events that go into like uh, the KBD. They do boss hunting and stuff like that, but nothing too hardcore. I mean, I've been to some of their events and they're really relaxed and um, yeah, I mean, they're some of the nicest people. Oh, sounds cool. Might, might give them a go. Well, if you want to check them out, uh, you can go on Runehead and type in Oak Island Pirates and just check out their forums. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I don't know if you can hear the background, but my mother is talking. Yeah, I think so. Oh, God damn it. I hate when she fucking does that. <laughs> uh, anyways, I have to leave soon, so uh, I'm going to end this really short, I guess, and I'll uh, probably make another one soon, right? Yeah, definitely. So, anyways, Ryan, it was nice talking to you again. It was nice doing a little collaboration with the RuneScape Guides team once again. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. Yeah, I know, right? It's been uh, six months about that. Yeah, it has been like I haven't I haven't done any content on my channel for like a month. Um, I've really just been stuck into work and um, with my girlfriend and stuff. And uh, I keep having my well, I keep having a free house like because my 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 dad is um always down the caravan and stuff like that. And I always just have free time. I I, I just never really played RuneScape much. Oh, all right. Well, next time you're online, man, just let me know and we'll uh, do another catch up for what's going on. Yeah, in the definitely, RuneScape world. definitely. Alright guys, this is Command 149, and that's Ryan from the RuneScape Guides team. Peace out.